I am actually on my way to the library and the reason I'm going to the library is because I actually want to look through their sewing books and see if they have any books that you know I may want to check out or just kind of glance through I'm especially interested in books that are related to drafting and how to drape so I've been really interested in those types of garments lately so I'm gonna go see what they have at the library and hopefully they will have something nice I am not sure what's going on but the traffic is moving in such a slow pace I'm on the freeway and I think I'm only doing yeah like 20 miles an hour traffic is just really bad right now and it's in the middle of the day it's only 1136 so it's not like it's rush hour but anyway I went to Barnes & Noble the other day and I wanted to kind of look through their books just to see if maybe they had any books on draping but I didn't see anything and then that's what made me decide to check out the library and I haven't been to the library in so long like I feel like it's been years I'm sure it has been books on sewing sewing Oh, so you can go directly to our adult section and they can help you locate um, topics of that. Okay, thank you. You'll find everything sewing in that same area there. Okay, can you point me to the direction? Sure. Okay, okay I'm going to find, hopefully, the sewing section and where these books are. I found the aisle that I was supposed to be in, but for the life of me, I could not find the numbers that I was looking for. You can see me looking all over and I threw up my hands like, what in the world? Okay, here we go. I finally found the section that I was looking for. So I found one book that I've been thumbing through. It's called After a Fashion, How to Reproduce, Restore, and Wear Vintage Styles. I'm not gonna check this out, but I've just been thumbing through here and looking at the pictures. This is kind of what I had in mind, but not really. <laughs> So I didn't find or check out any library books, so I decided to leave and then stop by Joanne Fabrics just to see what they had in store. When I walked in, I noticed right away that they had some fabrics on sale, so I just decided to browse around. I'm really not looking for anything in particular. I feel like it's been a while since I've been in Joanne Fabrics. So I just kind of wanted to look around and see what they have. Oh, I love gingham. Let's see what else they have. I guess these might be some of the newer fabrics because I don't remember seeing some of these before. Of course, I've not seen everything that they have, but I kind of seem to notice when there's something I've never seen before. I want to go to the denim section and see what they have over there. <coughs> There's a white right so there. So let's check that out. Let's see. Oh, this is brown, I think. That's nice. Let's see. Oh, look, they also have like an orangey kind of color here too. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I think these are kind of stretchy maybe. I think these are knits, like athletic wear type knits. Denim, here we are. Here are some plaids on sale. And let's see, here are some denim fabrics. Just checking to see if there's anything that looks new I might get this because I kind of want to make a jumpsuit and it is calling for Shally and I think this is oh this is modal 100% modal but I think that this would work if I were to make a jumpsuit out of this 
so yes this is a contender I didn't find anything in Joann's I am going to go to Hobby Lobby and this is gonna be my last attempt to try to find something if I don't find anything I'm just gonna call it a wash for the day I found this which is a rayon this is a rayon also and then I have this as an option which is another rayon and I'm thinking oh sorry about the noise I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this this is a gingham rayon. It's 50% off and it's only $7.99. So I think this is what I'm gonna actually go okay. with. So let me share with you what I picked up. Of course, I picked up the gingham and I did purchase three yards. I like how flowy this fabric is because it is a rayon. Hopefully it won't be too sheer. I think it should be okay because it is a rayon it does have a tendency sometimes to kind of shift around so I decided to also purchase a stiffening spray it's called starch savvy I've never tried this before but I just wanted to try something different to kind of see how it would work with this fabric usually when I need to stiffen fabric I just use the regular let me get it. I'll show you what I use. This. I usually just use, you know, like a regular household spray starch. And it works okay. It really does. But I thought maybe I would just try something different. The other thing I picked up was another seam gauge. I'm always looking for mine. So I thought maybe I'd just grab another one. And then when I came home, I had a package from Amazon. I actually purchased this flexible curve ruler. I'm going to open it. And I wanted this because it is flexible and when you're measuring around a curve I think that this will make it a little bit easier so let me see okay you can unfold it and this will be cool to keep the shape you know so then I'll easily know what something is measuring out to be I think this will really come in handy now the pattern that I am planning to make with this fabric is McCall's 8261 I want to make the jumpsuit which is view B the longer jumpsuit I think this should be cute it looks like it has pockets and I'll keep you posted if there are any other details that I find out about as I'm sewing it are the facing pieces there are two for the front and two for the back what I like to do is take the facing pieces and I like to put the interfacing right on the back of the actual facing piece instead of just cutting out the interfacing separately and then pressing it down I usually just flip the fabric to the wrong side lay the interfacing on top and press it down and then I go around and I cut out the piece that I need and it's all one you know the interfacing is already attached to the back so that is what I'm about to do right now is just go around and get my cutter I'm using a rotary cutter and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all these facing pieces out. I am almost done with this jumpsuit. I'm working on step number 15 and I am going to be threading this front strap 
through the back opening. So there is an opening here. And I'm going to turn this inside out like that. I put a safety pin on the end of the strap. And I did put the jumpsuit on and I determined that I want the strap to be as long as it can be. So that means I'm going to thread it through this hole and then I want the strap to be even with this edge, even with the back edge. So I'm going to line that up, make sure everything is straight and not twisted. And I want that to be pretty even right there. And then I will go ahead and sew the hole closed. Then when I turn everything over, the strap will be in here and it will be going in the proper direction. This jumpsuit is really comfortable, really easy to wear. I really like the fabric and how it moves. I made an extra small. There is a pleat at the front of the garment on the strap area. And I didn't make any changes to the pattern or to the garment. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. The American Red Cross has an online babysitting course. Youth as young as 11 years old can take the course and earn a babysitting certificate.